interested in kind of the dynamics of Florida fisheries, the Florida Keys, and we've been working on the um, assessment of the reef fisheries for now, at least myself, about two decades. With my colleague, it puts it together at three decades level, which is the longest continuous study of coral reef fishes in the world. So we're looking at management procedures that, are, that have been in place, the protected areas, for example, the Tortugas, which has been a, about a decade-long endeavor of my part, which I view it as, uh, if you will, Florida's Yellowstone. It's some of the most remarkable, beautiful coral reef environment, probably in the Caribbean. We're trying to look at what spatial protection means in the context of other restrictions, size limits, bag limits for achieving the goals, which are a multiple use goal of uh, sustaining yields, sustaining economy, sustaining reproductive continuity, putting together all the parts of the ecosystem that, that make it sustainable. But in the area particularly, we've seen um, rebounding of populations in the protected areas, and in fact at rates that we didn't expect by theory faster than what we thought the theory might provide. Uh, we saw resiliency to uh, extreme storms, uh, 2004, 2005 were some of the most significant, intense hurricanes. We had about six of category two or better that went right over that area and turned some of these areas to parking lot, literally ground it up, but seeing resiliency, recovery in, in short order. And then the really cool things that are going on, I think, are the unexpected consequences of that area. And we've discovered, in fact, that uh, places that were set off for protection uh, turned out to be spawning grounds, for example, of the permit, which is a famed uh, flats game fish in the key, and we've discovered what are literally towers of biology spawning in these areas uh, when we're out there in the survey.